Hey, it's uh, Black Vader once again. Uh, sorry I haven't been doing videos in a while, but you know, I'm going to keep it short this time. And let's see if I can be more consistent. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You can get the code at producejustice.com. Um, thanks for anybody that's watching the videos. You know what it is. You know what time it is. Just let's let's get into it. Um, we're still in Area Six. People politics on page two seventeen. Interactions with white people in general. Question: Should a non-white person make a deliberate effort to interact with white people? And if so, how so? Yes, it is the duty of every non-white non -white person to make a maximum effort to try to establish quality relationship with every white person. The quality relationship must be specifically the design to produce a maximum constructive result in every area of activity. The quality relationship. Damn, oh, I should have read this, boy. <laughs> this is a good one. I read this book, but sometimes it's just good to go back. Wow, run, run it back. Just in a pop. This is politics. Great. Okay. Yes, it is the duty of every non-white person to make a maximum effort to try to establish a, a quality relationship with every white person. The quality relationship must be specifically designed to produce a maximum constructive result in every area of activity. The quality relationship must be activated by each non-white person by putting a code of thought, speech, and action that is specifically designed to produce a maximum constructive result in everything that a non-white person says and does in all or his or her area interactions with all non-white people. All white people. Question. What is the one thing politically that you have most in common with both white people and non-white people of the known universe? Answer. Failure to replace the system of white supremacy with the system of justice. We have all failed, I guess. So, um, when talking to any people, including suspected white supremacist racists, do not be harsh, vulgar, or mean-spirited. Be business-like, cordial, courteous, and pleasant in manner. Explanation. In general conversation, there is no constructive reason for any people in the known universe to talk to any people in any way other than an affirmation. When talking to any people, including suspected white supremacists, do not be harsh, vulgar, or mean-spirited. Be business-like, cordial, courteous, and pleasant in manner. Do not speak or act in such a manner as to produce hatred of white people. Do not speak or act in such a manner to promote hatred of white people. Explanation. White people are people. Generally speaking, they are smart people. They are industrious people. They are people who question explore, examine, experiment. They are great arrangers. They study everything in great detail. They are great builders. Their knowledge and understanding is extensive in all areas of activity, including economics, education, edu entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, war, counter war. White people are, generally speaking, very attractive and exceedingly fascinating in both appearance and performance. They are capable of great compassion or great fury. They clearly display, display the possible capacity for unmatched humanitarian accomplishment. However, as people who are chosen to be racist, white supremacists, large numbers of them have utilized their intellect to practice deceit and violence on a scale that has made falsehood, injustice, and incorrect a normal condition and a basic requirement for their existence. Still, 
it is incorrect to hate white people who practice white supremacy as it is to hate any people anywhere. Hatred of any person serves no constructive purpose, nor is it necessary to devote the power of the mind to a hatred of any person, place, thing, or idea. It is incorrect, however, to oppose falsehood. I mean, it is correct, however, to oppose falsehood, injustice, and incorrectness, particu particularly when expressed in such a massive and destructive form as racism, white supremacy. Think, you could have been born as the person you hate. Think, you could, come, you could become very much like the person you hate. I'm going to read this one more time. It is incorrect to hate white people who practice white supremacy as it is to hate any people anywhere. Hatred of any person serves no constructive purpose, nor is it necessary to devote the power of the mind to a hatred of any person, place, thing, or idea. It is correct, however, to oppose falsehood, injustice, and incorrectness, particularly when expressed in such a massive and destructive form of racism, white supremacy. Think, you could have been born as a person you hate. Think, you could become very much like the person you hate. Question. During the existence of white supremacy, what is the correct thing to say to a white person who says something about you about racism or counter racism? Counter racism. Answer. Say more, say one or more of the following. One, that's interesting. Two, I intend to give some serious thought about what was said. Three, I will most certainly believe what you say as soon as I have reason to believe what you say. Question, what is the correct thing to do or say when a white person says something about racism, race, or counter-racism thing that you do not agree with? Answer, say something about racism or counter-racism that you do agree with or say nothing. I think that's going to be it. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys uh, for reading or watching or whatever you're doing to my videos. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe. It's Black Vader, a.k.a. I am Michael. Um, yeah, we're going to continue to do this. I don't care. To the wheels fall off. To the world love. God bless you guys. Goodbye.